Hey guys, Smitty here. This will be the last video of Classes Balances Recap and will include 6 more classes. Most of them received small changes and we will start with the class that received the most, Berserker. At first might seem that Zerg gained many good buffs, but the changes are small and mostly useless for PvP. Changes were applied to the most unique skills in his kit. Rattle skill damage was increased by 42%, cooldown also increased by 2 seconds, added super armor in field and a new flow, helmet smash. After a brief forward jump, Berserker smashes his great sword on top of the enemies, dealing 4 times the damage of the skill. At level 2, the damage is about 2800% damage. Insane buff, but has no branches and no utility, but can be used as damage filler in combo or a stylish nuke in field. Second skill, Uncle Slice, received a big 54% damage increase in PvE and an insane 150% damage increase in PvP and cooldown was increased by 1 second. Overall damage is decent, about 1520% at level 2, but has no branches. Still can be used as a combo finisher, due to the fast cast, but only in arena. In field the skill has no super armor, making it useless. Another less used skill, Crimson Cyclone, received many chain combinations with other skills and a flow that decreases number of attacks from 3 to 2, changing the animation and increasing the number of hits from 2 to 3, overall making the skill faster but dealing same damage in the end. Reckoning, slowly regaining back its power, its flow catharsis PvP damage was increased by 10%, dealing now 180% at charge level 2. At last, the passive Unleash received a buff to increase PvP damage from 7% to 10% instead. Overall Berserker became more stylish, but the overall useful damage wasn't increased by much. Next to be reviewed another top field PvP class, Sage. In comparison with Berserker, Sage gained few nerfs instead, for being not very balanced. Sage's passive was always off meta, due to ridiculous 15% healing every 15 seconds. For a range class that has one of the best on mobility in invincibility, max health healing passive was breaking all the limits of survivability. For this matter, the passive Ancient Wisdom was nerfed well, increasing the cooldown by 2 seconds from 15 to 17 and decreasing the healing from 15% to 10%, but I still think it's not enough and 7% healing every 20 seconds would be fair. Another nerf wasn't as bad, wormhole movement speed was decreased. And that's all, but most likely more nerfs should come to Sage, as he still has ridiculous damage output for a ranged class. Another class that for some reason is considered very strong was also nerfed. Corsair received mostly utility nerfs, making her slightly less mobile and vulnerable. Once again, the skill Riding Waves Flow receives a nerf, this time decreasing the movement speed. Another mobility skill Flying Wave also receives a nerf, increasing cooldown from 10 to 11 seconds and also decreasing the movement speed. The skill Pirate Tricks first hit attack speed was decreased and second hit was increased. Also, skill distance has been reduced. At last, her passive Plunder received an extra effect that buffs monster damage by 10%. Continuing with the changes, next class that received small but big changes for Arena, Void Knight. Only two skills were changed, but balanced well the playstyle of Void Knight, made her more vulnerable and disabled the ability to endlessly run safe from her opponent. Dark Mist's immunities were disabled for Arena so now it's easier to punish a running Void Knight if you know how to predict her movement. Also new magic activation was added, to increase Dark Mist damage by 10% by consuming 50 magic. In exchange to such immunity loss in Arena, Eclipse's skill immunity was activated instead. Also new flow Eradicate was added, that changes skill animation into a 2 attack combo dealing overall 110% of the skill damage. A mostly affecting Arena that nerf transformed Void Knight into a more of a fighter, rather than a kite and run brain dead class, 
So if you face one, remember that you can easily now punish her when she tries to escape. Another class receiving few changes, buffs in that case, was Huntress. Yet another buff was implemented to her evasion, changing the animation and increasing the travel distance. Spinning shot PV damage was increased by 20%. And at last, her passive Blessing of the Wind was buffed by an extra 10% damage, summing to a total of 30% extra passive damage. Small buffs, small gift to Huntress users. And reaching the last one of the class's balances recap was Lupa buff. Also few PvE damage changes that aren't even worth to mention since they don't affect PvP at all. And that was it for the last class's balances recap video series. In the next video I will spotlight the long-awaited top list so you can finally use or not your class changes free scroll. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. That was Mitty. Have a nice day.